Hi, it's Sandra here from Create in Spain and I have a quick stamp making tip for you today. If you are using this sort of ink and Versamark for your stamping, I don't know about things like the Distress inks and the other types of inks, and I wouldn't do it if you use predominantly oil-based inks because I don't think it would work. But as long as you're using that sort of water-based type ink, then if you have made a stamp and you would like to do it, you can take a black or otherwise dark coloured alcohol marker and go over the raised portions of your stamp. And you might think, oh, this is going to ruin my stamp. It doesn't. What it does is two things, in fact. One is obvious, you can see the design that you are about to stamp. It does make it look much more like a shop bought stamp as well, because you tend to have the printed design on the back. Whereas, okay, this may be on the front, but at least you can actually see it. Um, but apart from that, it has the added effect when it's dried off, I've got some here, of making them slightly less sticky. Now, homemade polymer stamps tend to be pretty sticky. The reason for that is that when they're made industrially, they have what they call a DTAC salt, which they put into the rinsing solution. And I don't know what the DTAC salt consists of, and I'm sure that chemically it's probably very, very cheap, but to buy it for home use is rather expensive, so I've never bothered. So that's why if you buy them in a packet, they are not as sticky as the ones you might make at home. But putting the alcohol ink on the front of these has made them less sticky which means they work even better and even more like the ones that you would buy. Which I didn't. I thought that was hollow in the middle and it wasn't. So if I do that bit there, there we go. Let that dry a minute. So bear in mind the restrictions on the inks that you might not be able to use with these without it transferring colour. Because obviously if you put something on here which normally would dissolve your alcohol marker pens ink, then it will dissolve it on that to a certain extent. So you do need to make sure that whatever ink you're using isn't going to be affected by it. It's not quite dry yet. But other than that, it works really, really well. So there we have it. That's my tip for today. Hope you find it useful. Happy stamp making. Take care now. Bye bye.